I made my dog the main character in his own Christmas cards. I used AI for this and anybody can do it for free if you just follow these simple steps. In my previous video I covered how you can use Bing AI Generator to turn your dog into a cute cartoon character. So if this is your first time trying this, go watch my step-by-step -step tutorial in the previous video. I'm gonna link it here and below in the description. If you're all caught up, let's start making our Christmas cards! I've opened my Bing AI generator and I'm gonna start with something really simple like let's say make a Christmas card with the title Happy Holidays visible inside the image. The focus should be an adorable Westie Terrier dog with a big nose wearing a Santa hat. The background should be green. Okay, these look like real Westies. Oh my god, it's hard to tell that these were AI generated. They look so realistic. You might be able to tell the texts are not perfect. This one, for example, is pretty hard to read. Unfortunately, this AI is only about 50% good with titles and the rest of the time you get scrambled letters or cropped out texts like this one. What I do when this happens is try again. So hit the create button again and hopefully you get something better. For this next one, I'm gonna take out the title completely um, and I'm gonna add something because I didn't quite like the realistic style. I kind of want the style to be more animated, more like Disney cute cartoon character. So I'm gonna add here, the style should be Disney inspired. Let's see if we get better results with that. Yes, these look really good. Exactly what I was hoping for, especially this one. I love the style. I'm also loving these green simple backgrounds, like you can definitely print these and send them as postcards or email them to family and friends. To download these, you've got your download button here to the right, so you can just click that and download each of the images um, to your computer or your phone. Okay, let's try another one. I think it would be really fun if we had the Westie hold a candy cane in his mouth. Let's see what that looks like. Just so you know, the prompts that I'm typing in here for each image, you can find them all below in the description of this video. So you can take them with copy paste and use them to make your own Christmas cards. Yay! <laughs> these are fun. I love these. Okay, this is really, really cute. Let's ignore the fact that uh, this little guy has two candy canes. One of them coming out of the back of his head, we don't know why. Like I said, it's not perfect. You're gonna have mistakes like these, um, but you're also gonna get some really good ones. I'm actually gonna do another one just like this one. I'm just gonna change the background to green, which in this case it already is green, but I just wanna make sure um, because I like the, the green background with the red candy cane. Um, and we're gonna see if we get anything better this time. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like these better than the other ones? I think I like the style more for these ones and I just think they look cuter overall. Just for fun, let's see what would these look like with a different background. So I'm gonna change the background from green to Christmas inspired. And I'm also taking my chances with a title. So I said the title should be Merry Christmas. Okay, <laughs> these are festive. I'm loving the backgrounds and I'm happy that the title seems to be good so far. This one is really cute <laughs> with the big nose. And there he is, our friend with two candy canes again. <gasps> I'm just gonna download these real quick so we can move on to an even more fun one. For this next one, we're gonna go with make a Pixar style Christmas card with the title Merry Christmas, so just the same as before. The focus should be an adorable Westie Terrier dog with a big nose, dressed, are you ready, as Santa's elf. 
the background should be Christmas inspired. These are possibly the best ones so far. This is so cute. Look at his little furry paws. Oh my God. For this next one, I'm gonna get rid of the title and <laughs> I've just had an idea. We're gonna have the Westie wearing reindeer horns and a red nose and an ugly Christmas sweater. That's just a must for Christmas. And we're gonna say the background should be a solid color. It just looks more clean this way. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God. This is probably the cutest one so far. This is my favorite. I love all of these. Okay, I need to get my dog an ugly Christmas sweater um, in real life because it's so freaking cute. And reindeer horns and a red nose. He's gonna love it. Okay, I have no idea how are we ever gonna top this. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna change the background to green. This way it, it's just gonna make the red nose pop more. I love it. These are just adorable. I'm not even sure which one I would choose for a Christmas card because I love so many of them. Here's one tip. So if you want this to look more like a photograph of your Westie or your dog, whatever breed your dog is, you can just change the style to realistic photograph. So let me show you. I'm going to type in make a realistic photography style Christmas card and let's see what we get now. So now all four of them look just like a photo. So they're not illustrations, they're not cartoon like. You could easily think that somebody took a photo of, um, of the Westie and this is the result. So this is just a tip if you want your Christmas card this year to look like this, but you are not gonna, obviously not gonna put in the time and energy and you know, to take an actual photo of your dog. This is a pretty good uh, solution. Let's mix things up a little bit for the next one. So I'm gonna type in make a Pixar style Christmas card with the title Santa's here. The focus should be an adorable Wessie Terrier dog dressed as Santa and smiling. The background should be a solid color. So I'm just gonna let the AI choose whatever color, uh, you know, goes with the, with the image. These are very, very cute. This one is a keeper, definitely. Uh, let's see. See, this one has is, is, Santa is, is here. Yeah, we have to try that one again. This one is cute and this is adorable. <laughs> so I'm gonna download these real quick and then we can move on to the next one. If you tried this yourself, you probably noticed that you have a limited number of boosts. So you can see here uh, in the to the right of the text that I've got five more left and I started with 15. So every boost is one image and you can only do 15 of these per day. So once I run out, I need to wait until tomorrow to get 15 more. Or I can just change uh, to another account or you can create a new account with another email, which is exactly what I did <laughs> to be able to make this video. For this next one, I'm gonna add something in this prompt. 
So I'm gonna add Disney character because I want the, the Westie to look a little bit more like a Disney character. And the background should be a cozy living room with a Christmas tree and lights. Let's make this super cozy. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> I love how the ear is coming out of the hat. Very expressive, very, very cute. Okay, let's change the title of the card with I was good this year. And the focus should be a happy Westie Terrier Disney character sitting on Santa's lap. And I'm gonna remove the background completely just to see what the AI comes up with. Okay, it's not bad. They look pretty nice. I don't know what's up with the text though. What language is that, guys? I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's not English. So we're definitely losing the text because it makes no sense. So we're gonna try this again without the title. Let's see if we get lucky. <laughs> Does anybody think these look like Coca-Cola ads or is it just me? I feel like there should be a Coca-Cola logo somewhere in these images. But what if we made the Westie a reindeer? Let's make him a flying reindeer pulling a sleigh. That's gonna be super fun. And the background should be a starry night sky, of course. Wow! These are so adorable! Look how realistic this looks! Oh my god! I love the different styles. I don't even know which one is cuter. They are adorable. I think that's my favorite one so far. Okay, so I've got one boost left. <laughs> what should I use it on? Think of something really good. I know, a happy Westie Terrier coming out of a Christmas stocking. If only this was possible in real life, right? <laughs> and the background should be a Christmas decorated fireplace. These are just getting better and better, aren't they? So cute. <laughs> very cozy I love them so I actually have a few more ideas that I really want to try but I am completely out of boosts for today so I'm just gonna switch to my other account I'm basically logging in with, with a different email address uh, and voila I've got 15 more credits that I can use uh, right now so if you've been watching this far, I'm really glad uh, it means you're enjoying this video. It would help if you clicked the thumbs up button below to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And now let's go back to making fun Christmas cards. So for this next one, I'm just gonna copy paste the previous prompt. Uh, don't forget that you can do that too. Just go in the description of the video and you're gonna find a link uh, with all of these prompts uh, that I've used in this video. So make a Disney Pixar style Christmas card. The focus should be a cute and happy Westie Terrier. And we're gonna change this to wearing a Santa's hat and festive apron and baking Christmas cookies. The background should be a cozy kitchen. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so cute! <laughs> this is absolutely adorable. I mean, I know our dogs are adorable in real life, but these are just too much. <laughs> oh my god. Download all of these. Oh, 
Okay, I have this idea, like a typical Christmas card would include people as well, right? Like the whole family together. So what if I did a Christmas card with the three of us? Me, my husband and our dog together. So let's say a, a cute and happy Westie Terrier and a woman with long brown hair and brown eyes. That would be me and a man with blonde red hair and a beard uh, all wearing Christmas pajamas posing in front of the fireplace. I really hope this is not too complex for the AI to be able to process. So let's see what comes out of this. Oh wow, <laughs> we look like models. This looks nothing, nothing like our family. Not even the dog. <sighs> okay, this is cute. Um, it's really cute, but I think I'm gonna have to get more specific if I want something closer to reality. So let's see if I can do that. Let's say a 30 year old old woman with long brown hair and brown eyes and a 40 year old man with let's say a 40 year old big guy <laughs> with blonde red hair and a beard all wearing christmas pajamas i like that and let's add the style should be disney Pixar inspired. Yeah, I don't know if I can get any more specific than that. So let's give this a try. <laughs> kind of looks like a vampire, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, these are better. Um, this probably looks like us the most out of all of those. Yeah, I mean, this gets pretty close to what we really look like in real life. I'm gonna actually download this one. So I'm gonna go back to this one. And if you go back here on any of these, you can find the same prompt that you used for each image. So here it's the prompt with just the dog without humans. So I have a few more I want to try, but like really classic Christmas ones. Um, like for example, a Westie Terrier coming out of a present, of a Christmas present. The background should be a solid color just to make it really clean. Let's see. Let's try a dog holding a Christmas present, holding a wrapped Christmas present. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> These are very cute. So this present right here, in case you haven't noticed, is floating in midair. It's gravitating. A little bit too cartoonish for my personal taste, but I think they would look really good on Christmas cards. Let's try something different. Let's have a Westie Terrier driving a red convertible car <laughs> carrying a Christmas tree on top. The background should be a winter setting. This is adorable. It looks like it came straight from a children's book. <laughs> Ooh, we've got two Westies here. 
These are definitely among my favorites. Looking at these, I have an idea. I'm wondering what would they look like with a solid background, like a collar. What do you think? Would it look better on a Christmas card? Let's see, let's try it. Wow, yes. These definitely look like Christmas cards that you can buy from the store. And you've got four different color choices here so you can pick whatever you like. This is just great. Shall I try a few more? <laughs> or have you had enough cuteness for one day? <laughs> if you're thinking, how can there be too much cuteness? Well, I agree with you. So this time we're gonna have the Westie wearing a red plaid bandana sitting in front of a fireplace. Oh my God, this is the definition of coziness for me. Oh my God, this looks just like a photo. This is probably my favorite one. This is, this is more in the Pixar style than anything else. Okay, let's do one last image because this video is way too long as it is. We're gonna have the Westie dressed as Kevin from Home Alone. The background should be inspired by the movie. Wait, no, the background should be the house from Home Alone. And I'm gonna add the title, Home Alone. This is so exciting. If you're around my age, then maybe this was also the movie of your childhood. I don't know, but I just, this brings back so many memories. We should make a Home Alone movie with just dogs and this should be the movie poster. <laughs> that would be so much fun to watch. Okay, this was our last image. Just one more thing before we end this video. Uh, you might be curious how I made these images that I showed you in the beginning of this video. And I know a lot of you have asked me if you can just use a photo of your dog that the AI can replicate. And the answer is, unfortunately, you can't just use a photo. Not that I know of. But then how did I make these? I'm gonna show you. So this is the real photo, right? And then I got these images as a result. So what I did was I used the words to describe in as much detail as possible what was in that photo. Like in this case where I described the sweater and the pajama pants and even the background to get the result as close as possible to the photo. Uh, this is a great example as well uh, Sami was wearing his earmuffs around his neck. Well, the AI didn't pick up on that, but it did do a pretty good job with this photo. And this is the description I used. Um, and then there's this one of me and Sami where I described our facial expressions and the way we're dressed and the reindeer horns that I was wearing on my head. And I think it did a pretty, pretty good job. So yeah, that's how you turn a real photo into these AI-generated images. You just need to describe and go in as much detail as you possibly can to make sure the AI will uh, come up with something really close to the real thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've been watching this far, thank you. Um, I hope you got something useful out of it. Um, leave me a comment below actually and let me know um, if you enjoyed it and what you thought of it and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!